Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Walsall vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 100 likes on today's video that would be massive massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would be massive massively appreciated but today it is Walsall at home I'm very confident going into it we are actually right outside the stadium right now in a bit of a rush this morning so I don't have time to record my intro at home I'm gonna stick with my 2-0 score prediction that I said in my video yesterday as you can tell I'm losing my voice a little bit I'm gonna stick with Andy Cook and Paudy O'Connor to get the goals for the Bantams I've seen team news obviously because it's only about half an hour until kickoff Evans and Watt is the holding midfielder partnership Sutton not in the squad completely Songo on the bench Phil Robinson also on the bench so it's an interesting team I'm not sure I'm a fan of Evans and Watt starting don't really think that's our I think that's one of our weaker midfield holders that we could have gone with but I'm still confident going into it Walsall are out without Connor Wilkinson, former Bantam George Miller starts for the Saddlers. I'm looking forward to today's game though. Fingers crossed we can get back to winning ways and pick up another three points. Make sure you drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you are new as well, and let's get into today's video. Not the greatest turnout from Walsall, but credit to those that have travelled up. I don't know how long it is to Walsall, a few hours. Not the greatest support, but fair play to those who have travelled. Come on, silly. No, we're going to miss kickoff. Oh, well, we missed kick off, but we are underway for the first half. Do we? Well done. That's it between them. Easily caught by Yeah, the sevens on the ball again up against the Get up to him! 
in the box. Ball comes in and Another very, very frustrating day at the office. We had so many chances to kill that game. Vernon had a header. Andy Cook had one cleared off the line. Cook had a header as well in second half. Crankshaw had an open goal. I didn't actually get that on camera because I was changing my batteries when that happened. But I have no idea how we've not won that. Fair play to Walsall. You know, when they went down to 10 men, I mean, they were pretty much time wasting from 30 seconds in playing for that point. Then, obviously... Uh, we took the lead, it's a great goal from Elliot Watt to be fair, it's a nice little finish on his left foot. The goal we conceded, very very poor defending once again, it's similar to the goal against Stevenage, we allow a, a cheap ball into the box and it's just a free shot into the back of the net. We need to cut that out because it's happening far too often that a, a cross is just coming into the box too easily and then there's someone unchallenged in the area to put it into the back of the net and then Obviously Walsall went down to 10 men and we always seem to struggle against 10 men, I don't know why, but they were resolute, they were time wasting, they had every man behind the ball and as much as it's very frustrating, you know, that, that's what you've got to do. But yeah, disappointing, but fingers crossed that 
this team is actually good enough to go up because I know we've not really signed many proven players. I don't want to overreact, but I've seen you know some people on Twitter saying that this team is not ruthless enough to go up. For me personally, I think Adams made substitutions a little bit too late. I think everyone was pretty poor today, apart from maybe Rydhalj. Um He obviously got man of the match. I thought Vernon bringing him off seemed a bit weird. But we didn't really seem to have a plan B. It was kind of just play it from one side of the pitch, switch it to the other side of the pitch, cross the ball in, fail to beat the first man, wall so clear and repeat. That was literally it for like pretty much the whole second half. So very, very frustrating, very disappointing not to pick up the three points. But we now move on to next week, away to Salford. I will be there. Gary Boyer's team as well, if he is still in charge by then, because I believe they lost again today against maybe Carlisle. But that is where I am going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like as always will be massively appreciated. Can we try and hit 100 likes, as I said, at the start of the video? That would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could subscribe, that will be massively, massively appreciated. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of what I upload. Have a great rest of your day and I shall see you all very soon for another video. Peace.